in this section we will see that how we will finally be calculating the corporate tax which is either payable or uh, ultimately we may not be having any sort of tax liability. So just before we enter into the uh, calculation sheet, uh, I just want to explain uh, a very critical aspect is that it is the concept of withholding tax. So basically the concept here is that if we are making any foreign payments or any such payments on which FTA will require us to have a deduction of any tax before we make a payment to our supplier. In that case such tax will be called as withholding tax. At present it is 0%. So it means that uh, in UAE companies will not be deducting any payment, uh, any, any payment from uh, their supplier bills and there will not be any obligation to to file withholding tax return which means that uh, you know in a typical scenario when we are supplying to for example Saudi from UAE Saudi companies are required to withhold certain percentage from our payment and they will be you know depositing it with the Saudi authorities but at present here in UAE we do not have any such requirement. And finally, once we have you know calculated our entire CT liability, we can adjust the foreign tax credit in case if it is you know allowable and if UAE has a double taxation treaty with any other country. Now, <coughs> to specify here, uh, let's now focus on that how ultimately we will be be you know calculating the corporate tax liability. I will be including this template also in the download section. So we will be starting first from the uh, income which is our accounting net profit. Okay, So we will be starting from there and it is of course as per the IFRS once you have you know calculated it you will have two things either you will be you know adding something back to the accounting profit or you will be subtracting something out of it. For example, once we have calculated the accounting profit, we may have you know excluded or adjusted our entire entertainment expenses. But as we have an idea that only half of it can be claimable in corporate tax. In that case, half of it would be added back to our accounting income. Same thing is if we are having any interest expense and anything which is exceeding our 30% EBITDA cap, such interest also will be added back in our accounting, uh, yeah, in our you know, accounting income. And if there are any payments in case if if in future FT will say that any payments which you are making to free zone entities, if it would be you know say a disallowed expense, that has to be adjusted. Any administrative fines, penalties in such cases also these would be adjusted back and we are doing all this because in our accounting profit calculation we have recorded them as an expense for us. Then if there is any transfer pricing adjustments, so if if ultimately we will see that uh, we, we should have charged higher prices in case if you are selling anything to our associated entities in that case such amount also to be added back here. Expenses which are for our exempt income of course all these also would be added back and then any other expenses which we incurred uh, which are not for the taxable income. So this is again an important area for example if we are a sole owner company and we may be recording our you know the personal expenses in our uh, accounting records. So in that case all such expenses to be added back and it will increase the profit. So we have um, you know for all those inadmissible expenses we will be making a total and we will be adding back and in future if there is anything you know else come up in the same template you will be adding it back again. Next come the items which we will be subtracting. These are the items which are included in the accounting income. But as per FTA, these incomes are either exempt or we do not have to pay any tax on such income items. Very first thing would be capital gain on sale of shares if it is under the eligible 
participation exemption if we have any sort of you know gain we would have included it in our uh, accounting income and here we would be subtracting it. Tax reliefs uh, as we already have a discussion on these also uh, okay, it could be intra group or we may be selling out the business and it could be with related um, it could be in connection with the sale of the business it would also be subtracted income from foreign subsidiary operation if there are any it would also be subtracted dividend from the foreign companies if they are okay in our eligible participation exemption scheme as you are aware that we have already have a discussion where our foreign shareholding should be greater than 5% percent and there are certain other conditions also so in that case the dividend from foreign companies also would be excluded income from foreign branch operation if we have you know elected for this in some cases if we are claiming it as an exam we would be excluding it also and then dividend from you know uh, the entities which are ue incorporated so as we are aware that all such dividends would be uh, you know tax exempt so in our accounting income it would be included and here we will be excluding it and finally we'll have a subtotal of our adjustable income items earlier we have a subtotal of ad uh, you know, adjustable inadmissible expenses and so here we will again go to our accounting income and we'll have uh, the subtotal of you know inadmissible expenses we'll be adding it in our accounting income and finally we'll be subtracting the adjustable income item and we will be ending up at gross taxable income now with this income very first thing we would be subtracting is the losses which we have you know, carried forward from the uh, the previous years and we are aware that we can only carry forward up to 75 uh, we can only adjust up to 75% of the losses incurred earlier finally we will be ending up with net so taxable income okay so here is the income on which we will be start to applying the tax rates now here we have an, an idea that our first 375k of course it would be 0% so we will not pay any tax here then we would be subtracting from the taxable income okay first 375k and then applying the flat tax rate of 9% which in this case is around 126k and final item which if if we have these you know available we will be subtracting any foreign tax credit okay in that case if we do not have it would be zero and here comes the final tax liability for us now on face of it it is a simply an excel sheet but as you have an idea that it starts with accounting income all as per the you know the ifrs and we have discussed all these items which you are seeing here as you know in our separate sessions where each one of m we should have an idea at how we will be you know uh, treating it and finally we would be applying the tax rates and here comes the you know liability for us hope it is clear and in future if you know if fta will be uh, you know allowing or they will say that you need to exclude certain items again you can simply add in this excel sheet